Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Skeleton Sixer here, and today I'm gonna be uh, re-reviewing an old Aliens vs Predator set I made. That's so here is the beauty. Um, definitely a lot better than it used to be, um, and it's uh, a lot different. I've changed a lot of stuff, and overall it's just a lot better. But let's go to the first figure I want to do here. It is going to be the uh, Scout Predator that I have made. Um, and it's definitely, like, different. Um, this piece right here was found in my driveway. Seriously, not kidding. It was just laying there. And for some reason, it can fit inside of a Lego. And I just took it and put it in a Lego face. Or a Lego box. I made a face for a predator. This predator has, um, um, the scout predator, I believe, is from Predators. Um, it has a sword and the plasma caster, of course. And it has this paint pen armor detailing sort of thing all around. It's, uh, Pretty nice figure. And, yeah. So next after that, we have, um, not a real figure, just a couple blocks. It is the Invisible Predator. Um, and it's just some blocks. I mean, that's literally all it is, and it's supposed to be an Invisible Predator. I mean, it's just blocks. So, yeah, that can't really do anything with that. Um, next we have what I used to be super proud of, now not so much. Um, I still like the legs, though, because I got, like, the feet to claw things and some side armor. But anyway, um, this is the, um, one of my original Predator, Predators, <laughs> I guess. Um, and it's very cool. It's got a new-looking staff. Looks a lot better than it used to. It doesn't break. Um, and it's pretty good. Um, it's got, uh my, um, one of these claw things, the middle ripped out, so it only has two like the normal Predator would have, and it's got some fluctuating lighting, too, um, it's got, uh, the cool plasma caster, no longer hooked up to the, uh, back of the helmet, it's just kind of there, and it's a lot better looking than it used to, and then of course the head is still the same head, clone head, with the uh, couple um, lines on it for the face detailing. Um, next figure we have is um, one, if you saw the original review, uh, you've already seen this before, it is this guy. Um, like I said in the old review, this was once a head that everyone liked to use. Made out of some random pieces, and it's a lot, um, a lot different. Um, it doesn't have the plasma caster anymore because it was weird looking and stuff and things. Um, and he's got uh, a whip, a predator whip, and again, the cutoff thing right here. Um, and the only thing that's different about this guy is really the whip and the missing plasma caster. Um, and it's got the same night chest, which is actually okay, not super terrible. And he still sits in the throne thing, uh, throne statue thing, um, which is definitely something very, um, very fragile. Um, so yeah. The next figure, of course, is the Girl Predator, um, which you may not know exists, um, but, spoiler alert, the girl from the first movie who survives, um, Percy Allen's vs. Predator movie survives, and she, um, gets a marking on the Predator on her face. And, basically, I guess for lore, for how lore goes, she becomes a Girl Predator, and basically she eats dreadlocks like Predators, and she wears their armor, and she gets, like, the staff, of course, and she's just really, um, really cool looking. Um, 
I know, well, like, not being, yeah, um, the girl in the movie has a little bit darker skin, but it doesn't matter because it's supposed to be a predator, too. Um, so, yeah, she's got some hair, shorter hair, but, I mean, whatever. Um, it's, I don't remember whose face this is, but it's a Lego Star Wars face, um, and then she's got the body from where face that is, um, and she's got the modified wrist blades, um, she's got just a normal Lego staff, but I can use it as a Predator staff, because I want to, um, and some, uh, armor on the shoulders. Last but certainly not least, we have my favorite Predator, and yeah, so, um, we're gonna get right into it, he's got the cool looking wrist blades, um, I really love this figure, um, I hope you do too, um, He's got the cool looking plasma caster. He's got an uh, Avengers body. He's got some brick forged neck armor with pauldrons or cauldrons or something like that. Um, got this Toy Wiz helmet that I got um, off Toy Wiz a while ago. And yeah. And the face is cool looking. It's custom ish. Um, it's a Lego face, believe it or not. Um, it's a, like a Jedi face. And I just made it look more like a predator by putting eye detail, eyebrows, um, dreadlocks, and stuff. And it looks a lot cooler. Um, overall, it's a cool looking figure, and I love it a lot. And I really do hope that you do too, because it didn't take time, but ordering the Brickforge stuff, yeah, if you haven't seen my Brickforge video, go check it out. You'll see this there too. Um, but yeah. I'll probably make changes to this figure in the future, and you'll probably get its own separate review later. Maybe. Up next is the alien. Now, I haven't changed anything on this. I don't know. From the last one. Um. But, I still like it, you know. It's an alien. It needs to be a little bit re-colored. But, whatever. Um. It's got the nice tail made from... A bendable tube, yes, there's lawnmowers outside, doesn't matter. Um, and it's got red uh, detailing. I was painted over a red body and stuff and things. But yeah, you know, it doesn't really matter. It still looks cool. It's still an alien. The only thing I wish is that I had a, a black skeleton body because if I had a black skeleton body, this thing would look beast. I just saw a video of someone in this black skeleton body on their alien. It looked awesome. So, if any of you know where to get a black skeleton body on eBay, maybe, or good something, that would be awesome for you to tell me. And um, leave it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to check it out. Next, we have the Aliens vs. Predator Requiem Alien, or uh, Pred Alien, and it's freaking awesome looking. Got the tubular tail. Um, it's got the uh, this black thing for the head. And the head is really complicated, uh, made from a lot of different pieces and things, and it's got the mouth like a predator and stuff, and it's a little bit taller using a uh, brick that I painted, or not painted, I markered, sharpied black. And there's not a whole lot of detail to this, but it's just really cool looking. Up next is the Alien Runner, it's the Red Alien. Um, and it's freaking really cool looking. Uh, it's got wheels, so it can run, essentially. Um, and it's just kind of cool looking. It's got the red alien head, and it's got the super long tail. And it can move, of course, it's a little bit, it's a little bit articulated. And it uh, just kind of goes up and down, like that. Up next, we have the Face hugger. Um, it's actually just a scorpion. Next here we have the alien hive queen, and it's kind of giant. Um, so yeah, there she is, and it's got um, all fingers are posable, of course, and these move like that. Um, in there, right here, we have, of course, these small individual hands from 
buoys and stuff. Um, we've got a spinnable head, and it's very cool looking. It's uh, pretty accurate. Back here we have the tail. Um, doesn't move at all, but it does have some uh, human blood and predator blood on the tail. And then on its legs, just dents and random pieces. And it's pretty cool looking, though. Next, we have the Predator ship. Um, and it's been modified um, with the front here. This used to look actually a lot more like Spider-Man. Does not know. Um, I markered all of it, pretty much all of it, to uh, be more uh, black and less silver. And when I take off the windshield here, you'll see that there's small window areas right here, right there, and right there. And then when you look inside, you can see it does not look perfect, but from the outside it looks pretty cool. Going through the set, we have the entrance to the predator area right over here. Basically just like a small cave, and when you walk through there's some immediate plants and shrubbery um, and stuff, and Two predators up there, the invisible one, the one that's not invisible, it's kind of stalking you, along with someone's dead hand. Um, over here are more plants and stuff. The next predator. And I'm along with the girl predator. Then we've got the sand palm tree with the skinned person. And then down here we have the spot for some staffs. Then we have the blood. Underneath the the dead guy, the skin guy, and some plasma caster marks from when they're shooting and having like battles and tag and stuff. <laughs> um, then we've got, of course, some more shrubs. The uh, the, my favorite predator. We've got some more plasma caster marks and one of the time bombs. Just kind of have it sitting there. Then we have some more uh, blood streaks. Just holding it together too. Um, we have like a random rock meteor thing. Another staff, another staff thing over there. Back there we have a little totem pole. And up here we have the guy uh, sitting in the statue with the uh, shrubbery on top. It's pretty cool looking. Now, over here, we have the spot for the predator ship. Predator fighter ship thing. Over here we have, of course, the uh, predalien. Then we have the alien runner. And we have a face hugger in like its little initializing station, and then we have a face hugger outside of it. Along with that, we have another um, spot for a face hugger if needed. Then we have the normal alien. Um, back over here, we have the alien hive queen. And uh, yeah. But, yeah, guys, that's really it. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will um, see you all later. Take care.